And we're continuing. During his visit to Stockholm, our correspondent Ola Shapira had an exclusive interview with former IAEA manager and former Swedish foreign minister, Mr. Hans Blix. Blix gave his uh, insights regarding Iran, Israel, Fukushima, and his relations with former U.S. President George W. Bush. He was part of some of the most crucial decision-making crossroads of the last few decades. But world leaders have not always heeded his advice. Today, when diplomacy with Iran is underway, Hans Blix, former chief of the International Atomic Energy Agency, is convinced that Iran is not reaching for a nuclear bomb. The Iranians have been subject to uh, very strong threats from the outside, including Israel. We must also be aware that having American aircraft carriers in the Persian Gulf and with the threats that all options are on the table and other threats that have come, uh, they've been pretty strong as well. So I welcome uh, the initiative. In the year 2000, he was asked by former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan to lead the UN Monitoring, Verification and Inspection Commission that investigated evidence for weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. In his speech at the UN Security Council on February 14, 2003, Blix claimed his inspectors did not find any evidence of WMDs in Iraq, but didn't completely eliminate the possibility. Despite the report, U.S. President George W. Bush decided to invade Iraq only a month after Blick's statement. Many saw this move as a proof of the weakness of the International Monitoring Organization. Eleven years after the Iraq invasion, Blix is determined that President Bush made a horrible mistake. They went there in order to weed out uh, weapons of mass destruction, and they couldn't because there were no weapons of mass destruction. So I think it was a miserable miscalculation, tragic. Uh, we did what we could, and I've sometimes been accused by people say that you could have prevented it if you had said there were no weapons of mass destruction. And then my answer was precisely as I told you a moment ago, that you cannot prove the negative. Blix was also the helm of the IAEA during the worst nuclear plant disaster in history, in Chernobyl, Ukraine, in 1986. Despite the tragedy and the severe environmental damage it left behind, he believes that nuclear power, compared to other sources of energy, is safe. A lot is being learned, even so, Fukushima arrived. Yet, when you look at the nuclear history, this is started in 1960, three big accidents. Yeah, it's horrible what has happened, but, but compare it to other sources of energy. No source of energy is without some risk. Between writing, lecturing and consulting, Hans Blix truly thinks that atomic energy can be used in Iran in a peaceful manner. And from his cozy apartment in Stockholm, Sweden, Hans Blix hopes to see a world free from nuclear weapons, even in his time.